Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I pray that you are all doing well. Praise the Lord. I have a word to share with you all regarding 2022 and going into 2023. Now, I have shared this word with some of you all via email, but now it is time to release it to the corporate body. And so, Please remember that we prophesy in part and we only know in part. For the complete story, please seek Abba Father in spirit and in truth and let him reveal this word to you and confirm this word to you all and um, share further with you of what is to come. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so I will be reading from my notes and so I'm going to jump right in. The year 2022 contains the number two and it being replicated three times. This is very significant. In 2022, you will be receiving the double for your troubles. Isaiah 61 verse 7, instead of your shame, my people will have a double portion. And instead of your disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. Amen. Praise the Lord. The abundance, the overflow, the rest from your enemies shall all be your portion as a child of God. You shall experience prosperity in your mind, your soul, and in your body. It is a time of great restoration for the believers. Isaiah 40, verse 31, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Amen. As a child of the Most High, you will see great victories and abundance in every aspect of your life. Increase in your spiritual walk. You will come up higher in the Lord with shouts of praise as you see the release of his promises over your life. Psalms 96 verse 3, you will declare his glory to the nations and his marvelous works among all the people. Verse 4, for great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Amen. You shall see renewed strength. Your health shall be rejuvenated. You shall experience a financial overflow. Your barns shall be full. Your prodigals shall return as they witness the goodness of God in your life. Thus, you and your household shall be blessed and shall also experience an increase in the midst of famine. You have been positioned to be blessed in this latter end. It has all been a set up. As the bride of Christ, you shall be adorned in this season as you await your bridegroom, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You will partake of all that God has promised you that you shall see his goodness in the land of the living. You shall celebrate and be blessed. There shall also be supernatural favor and angelic protection that shall surround you. Angels shall be encamped around those partaking in divine celebrations. You will be hidden in plain sight. God will cause you to be blessed in the midst of calamity. The number two is also a number consisting of one plus one. There will be many marriage celebrations. Many will join in holy matrimony. You will meet and marry your kingdom spouses in 2022. You will be overjoyed with the blessings of these partnerships as you will quickly realize they are matches made in heaven. Read Genesis chapter 2 verse 22 to 23. You will see and know it is God's hand in your union. It will be unlike any other relationship that you have ever known. 
it will make up for lost times. It will be as though you have known them your entire lives. Why? Because your spirits will be kindred spirits. All these blessings and more will overtake the children set apart unto God, the righteous church. Amen. And I released a word that the Spirit of the Lord shared with my spirit that good and evil would be moving simultaneously. And so now I will share what the world will experience. In 2021, I kept seeing and hearing the number nine. Nine is symbolic of birth and the end of a season. I was led then to understand that there was nine years left. I hesitated to bring this word forward, but I must. The word says that no man knows the hour of his return, of the return of our Lord, but our Heavenly Father. Yet, my brothers and sisters, you shall know the season. Even as one season changes to another, you shall know. Luke 21, verse 29 to 31. And he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out in leaf, you see for yourselves and know that the summer is already near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Friends, the signs are everywhere. And as 2022 approaches, I say to you, as it has been released to my spirit, we are left with eight years. 2022 shall be a year of much crying and difficulties. Many will lose heart as the sorrow increases. There shall be increased famine, financial loss, and loss of loved ones. Scarcity, along with the loss of security, shall increase due to the weight of the taskmasters. But children of God, remember, fear not, for these things must come upon the world. Only with your eyes shall you see these things but it shall not come near you nor your dwelling. Read Psalms 91. The world will soon cry out for a savior. The cries will be everywhere across the globe, across the nations of the world leading up to 2023. 2023 shall mark the seventh year. It shall give way to those coming to the aid and the rescue of the entire world. They will be hailed as a king, as the land will experience healing and peace and prosperity. Then the world will laugh again. But remember, my brothers and sisters, it is for a season. You are to keep oil in your lamp do not become equally yoked with unbelievers because after the facade of peace, then sudden destruction will emerge. All will see a sudden turn in events and the true intents of those peacemakers will surface. Pray then that you will escape the hour of temptation that is coming upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Revelation 3, verse 10. Happy New Year to you all. I pray that, you know, that you would seek our Heavenly Father and that he would give you increased wisdom and discernment for the times that we are in. I pray that you will be abundantly blessed. In Jesus' name. I love you all. I pray that this word has been a blessing and God loves you even more. And remember, as always, to keep your sights on the things that are eternal. For it's in the eternal things 
that we can move beyond the walls.